All right, everyone, since I'm a goober and totally forgot to do an opening and closing to this video, what I'm doing today is I'm pushing up the overall speed of these super light Crossman Premier hollow points. They're reversed, don't worry, I did to be able to read that. And I do also wanna give them a little bit of a shout out. Um, they redesigned the front of their cans. Look at that, that is a spicy looking can. I would say that's quality well done for six bucks a tin of 500 for 22 pellets. Anyways, I utilized these cross repair hollow points uh, for my initial tune. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to push up my regulator pressure and my hammer spring until they became unstable. And what I was trying to do is I was trying to go up to, excuse my reach here, something a little bit heavier. So I was going to try and go up to the Barracuda matches, and these are a 21.4. Now, the experiment was basically to take a 14.3 pellet and go up to a 21.4. A little bit of quick math, that's an additional 50% more mass that we are slinging down range. And if we wanted to have, you know, a good arc or a good trajectory on those 21.4s, we were gonna have to start upping our regulated pressure and our hammer spring pressure. What this means is pellets, as we start making them go faster, they have more likelihood of, of destabilizing for two reasons. One is their design, and two is the um, appropriate pellet twist. Now, is that that big a deal at the speeds we were pushing them? The first one, yes, the second one, no. So we were really just trying to see where those were breaking stability. And you can see we're right on the threshold of where they're stable at, where they're not stable at, which was right around 930, 940 feet per second, which for these little guys are really fast. Basically, to reiterate, what I wanted to do was see where the Crossman Premier hollow points, once again, I'll show you them, these guys, at 14.3 grains would start to destabilize and these guys, ooh, we have that upside down, the Barracuda matches which are 50% heavier where they would start to stabilize because when I tried to send these at really low speeds they would not group at all but as I upped the speed these guys started to group in really nicely and these guys started to not group as nicely. The two groups that you are going to see is going to be the Crossman Premier hollow points and shooting at about 930, 940 feet per second. And on some of them, you can start to see that telltale old wobble as, it, as they go. So you see them go up and they start to wobble and that's why you'll see some opening up at the groupings. Other housekeeping notes, this was at 65 yards. That was the longest range that was open. So that's the one I shot at. And... Um, this is filmed through a new scope cam and we're playing around with that. So a lot of things to throw at you in a short amount of time. Hopefully you guys enjoy the scope cam video and please let me know if you find this stuff interesting. We do have a really good tune for the Barracuda matches. So shh, sneak peek, it's in, the, it's in the wings of creating that video. This guy just has to edit a bunch of stuff. And in addition to editing that, we have to make sure that what we're putting out there is at least quality enough that you guys want to watch it. So that's what I got for you. Enjoy the shooting portion of this video. Okay, the tail of two shots. This first shot destabilizes and lands low and right. There's the shot. Destabilizes. Lands low and right. This next one, none of that. There's the shot. And then lands right where he's supposed to. Thank you all very much for watching the video. Really appreciate your time. And if you enjoy this type of content, please let me know. If you'd like to see some other, you know, marksmanship kind of things, 
I'm very willing to make those videos and kind of show you guys some of the basics of marksmanship. A little bit of sad news and housekeeping as well. I know I have usually released one, two, three, maybe four uh, trout fishing videos by this point in time in the season. It's not that I haven't been catching trout. It's not that I haven't been filming them. Uh, it's just my full length videos. The last three trips, which I was planning to do a um, full length video and not only do a full length video, but record a full length video, I have lost the footage on. I've cleared out all of my SD cards. I've made sure I've tested them, but whatever. I've lost them and it was really unfortunate because it was probably some of the best fishing that I've ever done as far as, you know, skill tactics, showing you guys, um, what, uh, how I, I apologize. I'm a little bit, uh, frustrated with this, but what, how, how to do it, those sorts of things, really good camera angles. I had two camera angles running and I lost footage off of both of them. Um, the one I have partial footage off of the other was a total loss. So very sad about that. Anyways, I hope to do another fishing video, full length fishing video. There will still be shorts, those sorts of things, because that's really easy. That's just one seamless upload. Um, but once again, uh, thank you all very much for watching this. And if you have questions on what my gear looks like or, you know, you want to see something, please shoot that in in the comment. And uh, thank you all for your time.